We are here today at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles of Chambersburg, and they are closing in 45 minutes. So let's not waste any time. Let's get in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. We've got a ginger jar. This actually looks like, well, I don't need to put it in there yet. So let's see what it says on the bottom. This actually looks like it might have some age to it. Taiwan body, hand painted and fired. Maybe not. Looks like they had a price of 179 on that. It is pretty nice. And it's only $13.95. I feel like we could do $13.95 on that. This is kind of a cute little vase here. It is $1.50. I like the contrast of that yellow with the black. I think I'll grab that. A dollar fifty. Why not? All right, so let's poke in here real quick and see if there are any new treasures. It hasn't been very long since I was here the last time, so I'm not really sure. Oh my God, what? in the world are, what are these things it kind of looks like a fishtail but there's a face on it it's very bizarre I'm not really sure what's happening there I'm a little bit confused <laughs> in, a, in a in a good way <laughs> oh gosh I like this dish $13.95 Looks like there is a chip there. Is it a chip? It doesn't feel rough. Oh, it could just be a crack. I don't know though, I've never seen that one before. Let's turn it all the way. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, there's a chip there. I don't know. Decision to, okay, I'm gonna pass, because it's chipped. I'm going to pass. This is me making tough, tough decisions. A little bit of moon and stars here. We may have looked at this the last time we were here. I do not recall. It kind of looks like Vitrock, maybe. I'm not sure about that. Oh, I do like the carnival. It's an amethyst. Stippled rays. $7.50. You know, that's pretty good if there's no damage on it, and I'm not seeing any damage. I think I might grab that. It's pretty. I've got a few head bases up here. Unfortunately, the eyelashes are broken. That's pretty common. Hi. <laughs> it's a lot of CDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eighty-two. Eighty-two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Signed a turkey, two dollars and ninety-five cents. What is it signed? I must know. Mm, these pieces usually sell for like 20 to 25 when they are a chicken. This obviously is not a chicken. This looks to be a turkey. Let's see. What was it? Price set? $2.95. I think I will pay that for the turkey. Got a beautiful face here. Not for food use. I do not really like my pieces to have warning labels on them. Occasionally I will make an exception, but the day is not the day for exceptions. So we're going to slowly back out of this booth and continue to the next one. Sorry if it seems like we're in a hurry today, but they are closing soon and I don't want to hold them up. So we are in a little bit of a hurry, I guess you could say. I do like that stoneware. Hmm. Got some 
donkey planters down here. These make me think of Casey. Last time I was with Casey, she bought one of these. It looks like these are a dollar fifty. This is this one is a dollar fifty. And there doesn't appear to be any damage on it, so I'll take it for a dollar fifty. He's <laughs> he's got his tongue hanging out. <laughs> he's kind of cute. I'll take him for a buck fifty. Let's look at the other ones down here. Cause there are a few more back in there. That one's got a little crack on it, unfortunately. But it's only a dollar twenty-five. About this guy. This one is a dollar fifty. Might as well grab them all. All the little donkeys. They can go to live together in my cart. <laughs> Very cute. On this one as well. This one's kind of got that quilted look to it. And I have found these salt and pepper shakers before. I think they do pretty well. So I may grab this guy with the quilted look to him. All right, well, there we go. Stick him in the cart. All right, well, I'm going to make everyone's skin crawl by pushing my cart through the mall and jingling all this glass to come and check out this booth with all of the jewelry because I have pulled some really great pieces of jewelry out of here. So normally I will um, plant my bottom down in, in the chair and start going through jewelry. I don't have a whole lot of time today though, so I'll maybe spend about five minutes and see what I can find. But the last time I was here, I got a beautiful dragonfly necklace. Unfortunately, the winning bidder did not pay the first time, so I had to relist it. All right, so I think I've discovered my first piece for $5. And I think this is just really cool. It is a fireman's helmet with what appears to be like a little lantern, possibly. And, um, I mean, it's not precious metal, but I really like it. So I'm gonna take this, not take it, but I'm gonna put it in my cart. I realize I have to clarify because sometimes people get the wrong idea. marked on the back. It's only five dollars. I might grab that. It's got birds on it. <laughs> that seems to be my excuse a lot of the time. This is pretty. There's pearls and a millefiore. Fortunately there is no price on this. That seems to be a, a common problem here in the jewelry. So maybe I'll bring it up front and see if they can get a price for me. All right, well, I think this is all we are going to end up with today because I don't have a lot of time to dig through the jewelry. And I want to make sure that I see more of the store. So, okay. As I was walking by, this fancy bowl caught my eye. It did look to be RS Prussia, but it's not marked. And I'm not that strong in my RS Prussia, so... I just wasn't real sure. Occasionally I'll get lucky on the unmarked pieces, but I don't know. This right here, I have bought and sold this in the past. And uh, I know the resale value used to be pretty strong on this. The one I sold actually had a broken head that had been repaired, but I just don't know anymore how the resale value is on those guys. Let's make our way back down to the Tiger booth. And I think that's really all we've got time for because they're closing very soon. All right, so let's poke around here for a minute and see what we can find. I do like that place, but it is, well, it's Vilroy and Bach, but it's a collector's plate, so I'm a little bit torn. <laughs> I'm torn between it being Vilroy and Buck and the collector's plate at the same time. I think I'm going to pass on it. 
Oh, look over here. What do we have here? Oh, these are 75. We've been selling a lot of these German pieces recently, specifically German canisters, but these are the little spice containers that I do like them, but I don't think I could pay 75 and still have room for resale, so I think I will pass on those. Let's go over here. Let's look at that pretty lady up there. She looks like she could be California pottery. As a matter of fact, I think we've looked I think we've looked at her before. The Lee Hollywood Art California pottery. They close at seven. They close at seven? You've got all the time in the world. What? Yeah. Nuh-uh. Seven, you're good. <laughs> Connor has just informed us that they close at seven. So, oh, all right. Well, I guess I guess we aren't being um, shut down. We've got until seven. So that's a pleasant surprise. I'm considering this California pottery, little lady. I do love California. That's a, like a weakness that I have. So I'm considering her. Um. Considering her, I feel like 12 is like right there. I love her eyelashes. I think that's really what gets me about the Delhi. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but the Delhi, um, the, that pottery, the figurines always have the best eyelashes in all the land. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Also, it's 30% off. I just realized that. So, okay, now I feel better. <laughs> all right, let us continue. Oh wait, we missed this booth. We missed one. Is that a Russell Wright? Looks like it's been cracked. Unfortunately. I've heard that Russell Wright pottery has a tendency to chip and crack really easily. That may be proof right there. <laughs> Carnival down here. It is marigold. It's just a little bit plain for me. I love the pattern, so sorry there, buddy. All right, well, she's not as great as a tiger. <laughs> not as great as my tiger. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. $55 as is. Yes, unfortunately, there is a crack there. I can feel it. Looks like they did glue it. Look how big that is, though. Massive vase. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Got a set of Pyrex here for 38 Dog figurine. This is absolutely adorable. Looks like he was glued on there though. A lot of the times I find these and they have cats hanging off the edge. But the cats were intended to be attached. This is weird. It's different. We've got some little Sharpays. Little wrinkly Sharpay dogs. They're very cute. Well now that I know I've got a little bit of extra time, I think I'm gonna plant my butt right there in that chair. And uh, go through a little bit more jewelry. Because why not? This right here is marked $5. And I am 98% positive that this is a Wendell August Forge piece. I bought and sold these in the past. They usually sell for $20 to $25. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be marked. Most of their stuff is marked. But you can see there where it's hammered. Aluminum. I feel like we've looked in this one before. That one's marked sterling. It's $15. You know, the price of sterling is going up pretty quickly. I think I'll grab that. Why not? It's a beautiful fan. It's enameled and it's sterling. This one appears to be marked $5. The chain is marked sterling. The stone looks like it could be jade. 
not positive on that, but Andrew did just invest in a gem tester with all the jewelry that we've been buying. So I will buy that for $5 and we will test it on the gem tester. For $5. Well, I happen to be walking out by this booth and this caught my eye. And it reminded me a lot of the frog purses that we got recently at auction. Um, when I opened it up, it actually says Bags by Lily. I was really hoping it was going to say Mary Frances. Um, but it's very similar in style. You can see the sequins and the beading. It's really nice. I mean, I wish it was Mary Frances, but I'm okay with it the way it is. It's only $12.99. That's quite nice. I think I'm going to purchase it. Look at all of these adorable little shelf sitters. Can't help but wonder if these are worth a ton of money like the little the little sunflower ones. I'm a little bit tempted to look them up. A little bit tempted. And then we've got a random like apple down at the bottom. I'm not sure what's going on here. He's he like Well, will you look at that? And that can't be real, right? <laughs> it looks like our little guy right here for $2 sells for $89. Let's look at completed and listed just to be sure. There does not appear to be any listed. I think I'm going to clear the shelf of the shelf sitters. All of them, including the funny little apple guy. Can't leave him behind. Of course, I had to walk around the entire shelf and I noticed this beautiful piece of glass. I need both hands to pick that up though. You can see there are some hard water stains on the inside, but depending on who makes it, it could, it could not matter. Finger shaving mug, you sit right here. The bottom is cloudy. I don't see any signatures on there, so I think I'm going to pass on it for 40 But it is a nice piece of glass. What is this? This is a aquarium bridge decoration. It does appear to be modern, judging by the bottom. I do like it was the glaze that attracted me to it, I'm not going to lie. I love the glaze on that. Oh, it looks like a Valentine's vignette. It's very romantic. Look at this beautiful desk. A humidor with a fish on it. Did Hannah want another donut or did she not? I don't know. It's not marked. Queen of Waters. I'll give it a shot. see that they are currently restocking. Oh, hello. <laughs> Silver Crest Cake Plate. This is the shorter version. I have the taller version that I actually use for entertaining. And now I have another. Now I have two. Ta-da. All right, so our total spend there was $109, no, $102, because she said $109, and I asked if she'd use my tax ID number, but she had not, so it was $102 without taxes. Um, so I feel like we got some really great stuff today. I was a little bit surprised it was only $102, but I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm happy with everything we got. I'm going to get out of here now, and I'm going to head on home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see all of you tomorrow, later.